What's up? What's up, Shorty? Hey, Shorty. What? It's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your birthday. We gonna drink Bacardi like it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's not our birthday. <laughs> so what? It's coming up in like a gazillion months. Who cares? I know. Mm-hmm. If you are new to the show, T and I share the same birthday, hence the title of our podcast, Tipping I'm the Scales Ray. by Two Libran. Eh. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why you had to do that? Eh. Eh. I don't know. Cardi, <laughs> Cardi B and uh, Megan Thee Stallion. Cardi, like Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. Cardi, I love. Cardi is like the inner two <laughs> who I want to be. Like, She's Cardi, definitely. <laughs> be on that stage like, eh, I want to just Absolutely. Cardi Absolutely. Or just hang out with her. She just seemed like a cool ass chick to be Absolutely. with like just like i, I would smoke that stage with cardi i would smoke with y'all too <laughs> i would okay I would. cardi here you go boo let's blow on this end up uh, mama god um, but yes, <laughs> i don't smoke I'm, but <laughs> i'll smoke with y'all on that day <laughs> or take a gummy i mean it's a have to be smoking like if you got a uh, hell no uh, every time i'm on a gummy <laughs> it's not great so no thank you <laughs> They do it differently. That I blood high is do well. something else. No. Mm-hmm. I don't do well with edibles myself, which is why I'm a flower child, but to each, to each his own. A um, flower child. Wait, have you been watching the playoffs? It's like... Come on, light. Hold on, T. All right, there he goes. Back on. All right. Sorry, I, I'm at work. It's put a clip filming. On. It's, yeah. You got to move around or the lights will go off. Um, I actually edit that part out. Um, but have you been watching the playoffs? Anyway, I have. I have. Finally. You you pinged me last time. So, yes, I've been watching I mean, playoffs. I just think it's 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 always exciting to watch the playoffs. Like, it's a different level of basketball being played during the playoffs. Yes. Let's talk about our tippers, Jalen Brunson and Rick Brunson. Okay. Let's go, JJ. Let's go. Dynamic duo. Literally. Right? J- Jalen is cooking. He's Ooh, he cooking. I must oh, say. My God. I texted sandra his mom i call her san i texted san yesterday like prayers up um we all like on this little text uh, thread and i said mm-hmm. prayers up because you know just praying for him you know asking god to cover him protect him and keep him healthy during, he during the playoffs he, he locked in <laughs> jj be like locked in and the knicks won last night mm-hmm. so what's mm-hmm. the series now two two it's- well, no, 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 no. They, it's 1-1, one, 1-1, one. One, one, right? 1-1. One, one. Check it. I think it's 1-1 because one, one. Jimmy got hurt and then he didn't play and then they won. All right. I'm checking right now. In the meantime, the Sixers play tonight. Man, and you saw Joel got MVP. Yep. That's Congrats exciting. Joel. Yep, he got MVP. Congrats, JoJo. And, uh, first of all, the Sixers won game one without... Embiid. How about that? Oh, okay. And we all know how the Celtics and our history has gone. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're not going to pull up those stats. Uh, yes, it's uh, the Knicks, the Heat versus Knicks series. Uh, Heat, Heat, Knicks, 1-1. One, one. You're right. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. Yep. 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 So, it's insane. Yeah, it's exciting. So game two for the Sixers tonight. They are playing Boston tonight. Where, who, uh, what are you thinking? What are you, what are you feeling? What, Who's going to win that game? Hold on, hold on. What's our record against Boston, you and me? <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, oh, uh, we got eliminated every time by the, by the damn Celtics <laughs> when we worked in the NBA. Um, right? And then Kawhi. Every and then time Kawhi. we worked together. So, yeah. Honestly, like uh, I don't care. Like everyone knows, like I, I I'm a team of wherever my son plays, right? Like, it's just something right. like that. So right. I'm a straight up Nets fan now. And unfortunately, yep. just playoffs didn't go well for them this year. But let's look ahead to the next year. Um uh, let's right. for, let's continue to make some changes to the team, put the right team in place. And it's always difficult too. Like those players didn't play together an entire time. They had a short period of time. So of course you know, they gotta okay, grow okay, and get GM. the right team. Let me okay, put this team together. Can they just let me suck me in so I can put that team together and build a team okay. around my baby? Okay. <laughs> Hilarious. 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 I agree with you, though. I 100% agree. Uh, I Honestly, I'm a Sixer fan, but I, I'm like a sour Sixer fan. And I, I'm just being real transparent right well, now. Well, come on, like, we're being a Nets sa- fan. Mikel will appreciate it. 
I'm a Mikhail fan. I don't know if I'm a Nets fan yet. Um, <laughs> okay. When we when we get floor seats, then I'll become a Nets fan. But uh, <laughs> if I have to sit, <laughs> look at this bougie gold digging ass biatch talking about some. We get floor seats. I'll be a Nets fan. Bye. I'm just girl. saying. Uh, that's the next level. So when you had yeah. access to tickets your whole life, it's like I'm not about to go. Just you know, be regular. <laughs> She booed. Wait, who is this bougie ass girl talking about? Um, when you have access to tickets your whole entire life, it's like totally different now. And I do not believe sitting in a 100 section or you know sitting a few rows behind the bench. I must be on the court, feet on the hardwood, or I don't want to go to a game. Get out of here with that bullshit, bye, girl. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, it's like, otherwise I'll just watch from the hardwood in my house, okay? Because I'm not, <laughs> she is I'm not doing it. Um, well, I think, listen, you're I mean, right. I'm not not like, doing it, but I'm just like, you pref- on, Your like, preference is floor seats and you're entitled to your preferences, right? So, I mean, I'm close. Why not? Like, I have people who could get me floor seats, hence <laughs> you and other people. It's like, why would I not? Like, come on. Like, sports is not a game for me. Sports is life. So now you know, if you thought you were going to be like 12, 13 rows out and go to a game with Shay, don't ask her. Pick your pick your other friend because she do not want to go. Exactly. Because my homie's the GM. So, you know. Who do you think? (laughs) I can't with her. Who do you think is like, so we know that um, MB got MVP, like you said. So congrats, MB. Like you're tough. You're yep. a hell of a player. And when when yep. when I knew the Nets was playing the Sixers, I was like, oh, uh, shit. you did say that. It's a, you did it's, say it's that. a wrap. But I said that to myself. It's, it's okay. Like good ex- good experience for the kid. So, but I mean, who <laughs> on like who could stop that beast of a man right. called MB? Like right. so. But is right. there anyone else that stepped up during the playoffs that? has gotten your attention. You'd be like, oh, damn, like, they're playing great. Any, who do you, anyone? Um, I mean, I love me some Jimmy Butler. I'm sorry. Like, I'm Jimmy was Jimmy dropping, Butler like, 48. Fan. Like, what did he have, like, a couple it, crazy yeah. games? Yeah, like, he, he just understands the offseason. He understands the investment in his body. He understands building a team to make him successful. So it's not a surprise that Jimmy is playing how he's playing. Yes, I, I'm sick that he rolled his ankle. Um, but I mean, who else? I mean, the Boston Celtics, they do what they do. Like they just, I can't even pinpoint anybody. Obviously Jalen, Marcus, like all of them, but like, yeah. So I don't, I don't think anyone else has stood out, but Jimmy, Jimmy is the one I'm rooting for. Jimmy's now that I have yeah, no team I'm in the like, game. Yeah. Well, I hope he recovers. I know he was injured and didn't play the other night. So Wishing you a speedy recovery, Jimmy. I got mad respect for him. He's just a nice guy. Like, I remember when he used to play for the Sixers. He used to want to do fun things. Like, we did Easter egg hunts for the for the, uh, for the the team there. Like, he's just, like, a good person. Yep. He wanted to purchase gifts out of his own pocket so we could do, like, little He put $100 bills yeah, in those eggs. Okay. Decent dude. Just like, a decent human yeah. being that cares about people. So, shout out to you, Jimmy. Wait a minute. Speaking of Jimmy, like. Here's and Bernie. School Bernie. School. Shout out to Bernie. Shout out to Birdie. There's an old school song. Jimmy goes, Jimmy, oh, Jimmy Mac, when are you coming back? Jimmy, oh, Jimmy, oh, Jimmy Mac, when are you coming back? <laughs> it made me think about that. So when are you coming back, Jimmy, come back. Um, <laughs> yeah, literally, come moment. back. <laughs> yeah, they, they need you. Um, yeah. They need you. Yeah, but we need him, so. at the same time, like I, I do. What want... about Dylan Brooks? I haven't seen him play much. I haven't seen him. I okay, the game. so so okay, so there's like some controversy going on. So Dylan basically playing for Memphis. They got eliminated by LeBron. He said that LeBron was old and he pokes bears, oh. so he don't respect nobody till they give him forty. And then LeBron gave him forty, and they got up out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful I said, what you Ooh. say. You know, I like, liked it. I liked it. I thought it was dope. I thought it was swaggy. But then I thought he was about to come like with it. And then he well, was ducking like interviews afterwards. So I'm like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said you got to be careful what you say. Because Thanks. somebody come make you eat them words. You're like, 
that's hard. Like you, yeah. you want to have some swag. You, you definitely have to be confident in your game and know what you're about to bring to that on the court. Like you, you got to be swag. Yeah. But you also got to <laughs> back up. Yo, shit. <laughs> yeah. Out. Especially if you don't back if you up gonna, your shit, then yeah, I don't know. Especially if you're gonna take on the king. Like, come on, like, yeah. like, like you taking on the king himself and his everybody else. So it's, yeah, it's LeBron he's, versus he's everybody. Be careful what you say. I just keep my comments to myself. I, I don't Me want too. no smoke from his followers. I don't want none of that stuff. His fans, like, uh, they come heavy. They are ready heavy. to come. For you, talk about LeBron. So, he's like a Including beast. Shannon Sharp. Okay. <laughs> Shannon Sharp, the biggest LeBron fan. Bye, Shannon. So, Why is oh, Shannon can't so wait. on LeBron? Be, he like, loves LeBron. He, he does. That, that's, his, that's his boy. Well, but anyway, wait. shout out. I want to see where Dylan Brooks goes. So I'm excited okay. to see what happens. I had the, the Grizzlies put out something that said he will not be returning under any circumstances. So mm. we'll watch out for that. So Okay. And let's yeah. see what happens with, uh, I just, I, I don't know, with, once teams are out of the playoffs, I'm always thinking about, like, next year, like, you know, I'm just, like, fast forward. That's just how my brain is. Kind of need to slow down. I'm thinking, like, what players are going to have? What are they going to make? Tra- like, what are they going to do? So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, we have a good amount of uh, draft picks uh, for the Nets, so I'm looking forward to where we're going and, and getting ready for the next season. But let's That's just exciting. see how the playoff goes and – um, I do love you, Jimmy, but if you want to take your time and just, I do want you to heal and come back, but take your time. I do want, um, if I have to choose, I, of course, like my friend, your other son. son, I'm going <laughs> to choose my little JJ. I want, you know, Jalen Brunson. I do want him to, you know, go to the next level. So I just, I just, I mean, also work. Knicks fans, like Knicks fans have been waiting for this, right? It's been like you forever. Kind of feel bad. It's you been know what forever. I'm saying? You, <laughs> they you like kind of feel bad. It. Yeah, they you're like kind of like, you know. So yes. who knows? We'll see what the basketball gods got for him. All right. Well, Tippers, look, you know we like to engage with you. So tell us what you think about the playoff thus far. Like hit us up on Insta. I'm Tania L. Rivers. Uh, Shay is at LaShayla. Like hit us up. Let us know or hit us up at Tipping the Scales. Like we want to know what you think about the playoffs or in if you want to be grimy with it, let us know who you think will win the chip this year. Like, we want to know. And, I'm, I'm going to save and, my thoughts to myself, but let us know who you think will win this chip. And, and where do you think Dylan Brooks is going to land? Let us know. Let us know in the comments. Where is Dylan Brooks going to land? Okay. Where is Dylan Brooks going to land? Let us know. All right, Tippers. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. And please continue to follow Tipping the Scales wherever you get your podcasts. Bye. Bye.